Hello everybody and welcome to a tutorial video. Now, a lot of you are probably going to be confused because these types of videos I don't generally make, but anyway, this is going to be a tutorial on how to actually make Trove or any other game look really good in real time. It's kind of like a shaders thing, as you can see it reshade, but it, it, it's, it's really good. It has a lot of neat effects and this doesn't actually only work with Trove, this isn't compatible with every game, but I have actually tested this out with a few things and it's really nice and it's actually really easy to set up. So anyway, to begin what we're going to do is we're going to click on the, uh, the link here, not link, but the program. I will have everything that I use in this video in the description so you can just look there. So anyway, we're just going to select the game. And if you are on the Glyph version of Trove, go to Computer, um, your C drive, or wherever you downloaded it, I guess. Programs Files 86, Glyph, Games, Trove, and then Live. And select the Trove EXE file. Then when you do that, I'm not going to do it because I've already done it, but select DirectX, uh, Direct3D9, that should be good. And then everything after that, just click Yes. You will have to like install it. A couple effects just you know click on yes for that and another thing is let me actually just do this again to get here quickly I will actually be including a uh, an any file it'll be called like trove good what you do for that is you take the any file and you drag and drop it into where the exe file is and um, <clears throat> that will be used for a little bit so now let's actually go into trove just to actually show you how cool this can be so you'll know it'll work if you actually see this box because it is, you know, injecting it into the actual game itself. So press up uh, right arrow to open the config menu. This will actually say shift F2, but I actually changed it. So let me just hit that. You can go to settings and you can change that to, you know, you can change the button right here. <clears throat> So normally it will, yeah, normally it's going to look like this. It's going to look plain and everything. And what you, what you're going to do is you're going to click this drop down arrow and then select the, any file that I <clears throat> have in the description. And this is what the game looks like by default. So take note of this. This is what it looks like. And as soon as I go to the trove, go to any file. This, it, this, I know this is overkill, I'm kind of messing around with the settings, but look how much better this looks. Like, the ambient lighting, it's mainly color correcting and ambient lighting, but this program does actually have bloom in it. I would not advise you to put the bloom on, because it kind of, uh, <laughs> it kind of messes it up, but you can do whatever you want. There's actually a lot of settings in this, and each of the settings has, like, its own thing that you can mess around with so you can actually be messing around with this for legitimate hours and you know just do all that cool stuff so this is what it looks like and again let me actually show you what it looks like without the I made this preset just to kind of <laughs> just to kind of uh, take everything off so this is how it looks like normally it's all washed out and this is what it looks like with it. Like I said, this is kind of uh, uh, overboard, but you can tweak the settings to however you like. But I will be including these things in the description, like I said. So this has been a random tutorial. Sorry if I rambled on way too much. I'm not good at these types of things. But I, I just wanted to, you know, put this out there because I know a lot of people actually like these kinds of things where you know it makes the video effects look all that good and one thing is i don't know how cpu intensive or gpu intensive this actually is so if you do have a lower end pc you might be struggling a bit i don't know but anyway that's been this uh short tutorial i know this probably should have been shorter than it was but anyway hopefully i got the point across this is a really great program. I don't even know how they've done it. This is, it, it's really cool. So anyway, see you guys later and goodbye.